after I left, it really improved my investigations to really understand the scoring of a horse and knowing what to look for in cases of neglect against horses. Before I came to EIA 1, I already had a lot of equine experience, but there was a lot of new things I got to learn every day, um, which really helped me out in my investigation. The body scoring and the nutrition were probably the two most important things that I utilize weekly. Before I came to the class, I maybe had four or five hours of hands-on experience with horses. And after I left the class, I actually had the confidence that my investigations would be correct and I would be able to uh, get the desired outcome of my cases when I investigated them. EIA 1 made me a better equine investigator. I would say I had more knowledge of possibilities of what could potentially be wrong with the horse. Um, just because the horse was skinny doesn't mean that it wasn't being fed. Um, there could be underlining reasons, medical reasons. Um, the feed wasn't of good quality. Um, why a horse could be possibly lame. So I learned a lot more and was able to apply that to my investigations. Well, I came to EIA 1 because I work with horses on a weekly basis. I thought I had a great knowledge base of horses, but I wanted a little bit more as far as on the investigative side. From the two minute vet check to in-depth body scoring to the anatomy and physiology, and you're gonna come out of here with an, a, an entire toolbox. It's not only the knowledge that you're going to learn here, you're going to gain a better comfort level around horses. They need to expect that they need to study. Uh, if you don't study, this is something that you're not going to get a lot out of. You have to study, you have to learn, you have to use the, the tools that they give you and listen, pay attention. It's a great balance of in-classroom lecture and then the other half of the day is you know out in the field with the horses in the barn getting to learn the things that we talked about in lecture. You know, we have our drafts, we have our ponies, our minis, your light horses and all of them come in different shapes and sizes so when it comes to body scoring you get you know a little bit of a difference between a pony a draft and a light horse so it just gives you that much more experience in the little different nuances with each type of horse